If I told you that Apple's newest MacBook Air is $400 cheaper than last year's model, with more power, more RAM, and better display support, you'd probably think there's a catch. But with the M4 chip inside and a new $999 starting price, the latest MacBook Air might just be Apple's smartest laptop move in years. So, what's really changed? And is this finally the MacBook Air we've been waiting for? In this video, we're reviewing the Apple M4 MacBook Air, both the 13-inch and 15-inch models. We'll talk performance, design, battery life, ports, pricing, and whether it's worth your money in 2025. First, we talk about the design and display. Nothing's changed on the outside, and that's not a bad thing. It's still ultralight, looks premium, and feels solid. The 13.6-inch liquid retina display is sharp, colorful, and bright enough for outdoor use. But here's what's missing. No 120 hertz refresh rate. Scrolling and animations feel slower compared to the MacBook Pro's Pro Motion display. Apple probably left this out to separate the Air from the Pro models. But yeah, a smoother display would have been a welcome touch. When it comes to M4 chip powerful, but with a quiet warning. Apple's M4 chip is no slouch. On paper, it's faster than the M3, with better efficiency. Apps open quickly, multitasking feels smooth, and editing 4K videos is doable. But here's where the silence speaks. This MacBook Air has no fan, so when the chip heats up under stress, it quietly throttles itself down. You'll feel it if you're rendering video or running heavy code for a long time. This isn't a deal breaker, but if your work involves sustained heavy loads, a MacBook Pro with better cooling might suit you better. Now comes to ports and compatibility, still limited, but better. You still get two Thunderbolt ports and a MagSafe charger. It's clean, but still limited if you're plugging in external drives, monitors, or accessories. On the bright side, the M4 MacBook Air now supports two external displays, but only when the lid is closed. It's a step up from the M2 and M3, which could only run one. So if you work with dual monitors, it's usable now, just not as flexible as the Pro lineup. Battery life. Quietly impressive. Apple claims up to 18 hours, and that number isn't just marketing. In real life use, browsing, video calls, office work, you can easily get through the day and still have juice left. What stands out is how consistent it is. Even under slightly heavier tasks, it doesn't drop off suddenly. That efficiency comes from both the chip and the software working well together. When it comes to webcam and speakers, good enough for everyday use. The 1080p webcam does a fine job for video calls. It's not groundbreaking, but it's clear and balanced, even in average lighting. The speakers, on the other hand, are surprisingly rich for such a thin machine. Vocals are clear, and the stereo separation is decent. You won't get MacBook Pro-level sound, but for Netflix or Zoom, it holds up well. Finally, talk about price. The M4. MacBook Air starts at $1,099, and honestly, that's not bad for what Apple's packing in here. But the real value kicks in when you spend a little more. The base model comes with 8GB RAM, but if you're doing anything beyond light browsing or writing documents, 16GB is where things feel smooth. That upgrade used to feel overpriced, but now, at just $200 extra, it's actually a smart buy. If you're buying this for the long haul, skimping on RAM will cost you more in frustration than dollars. Who should buy this? First-time Mac users? Absolutely. This is a solid, reliable laptop that'll last years. Still on Intel Max? Huge upgrade. You'll feel the difference right away. Own an M2 or M3 Air? Maybe hold off. The jump in performance isn't huge, unless your workload demands it. The M4. MacBook Air doesn't try to be flashy. It's a quiet performer that does almost everything right. It won't thrill hardcore power users, but for students, professionals, writers, coders, and anyone who wants a laptop that's light, silent, and fast for everyday work. It just works. If you're buying, go for 16 gigabytes RAM. Trust me, that's the sweet spot. So that's the real picture of the M4 MacBook Air. Fast, quiet, reliable, but not for everyone. If this helped you understand whether it's the right pick for you or not, then do me a small favor, tap that like button. It really helps this video reach more people. Share it with someone who's planning to buy a MacBook soon. And if you enjoy honest, no-nonsense tech videos like this, hit subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.